Hey, what's up everyone? In this quick tutorial, we'll take a look at how to set up and use Crossover 23.5 and Crossover 22 with CX Patcher with the Apple Game Porting Toolkit. Let's get right into it. All right, let's see how we can set up Crossover 23. I'm gonna go to Safari and I'm gonna Google Code Weavers. I'm gonna go to codeweavers.com, click Crossover, Mac OS, and let's grab the free trial. I'm going to fill in my name and email and then hit download trial now. Once the download is complete, I'm going to go to finder and go to my downloads folder. Double click the crossover 23.5 zip to unzip it. And drag the application into your applications folder. Next, go to your applications folder and double click crossover to open it. Once crossover is open, it's time to install the game launcher that you want to use. Each game launcher that you install will be held in what's called a bottle. You'll need a different bottle for each game launcher. Let's start with EA Games. On the install page, I'm going to go to the search bar and search EA App. We want EA App, not EA App for Steam. I'm going to select it. And if you look at the details, it says Crossover will install EA App into a new Windows 10 64-bit bottle named EA App. Next, I'm going to click Install. Once the game launcher window pops up, follow the setup instructions. When the game launcher login screen pops up, log into the account you want to use. If we go back to Crossover, you can see that we have our EA app under our bottles now. When you have a bottle selected, you can go to the right-hand side for changing the current method used of running the game. If you want to use the Apple Game Porting Toolkit when running a game, toggle on D3D Metal. If you want to use DXVK to play a game, toggle on DXVK. Let's try running a game with the Apple Game Porting Toolkit. I'm going to go to the EA Store and download a game. Let's try this really cool game called FIA. So the download's complete, but I want to run the game with the HUD in the top right hand corner so I can see the FPS. To turn this on, we're going to need to quit the game launcher and crossover. So I'm going to go to the dock, right click EA and hit quit, and I'm going to do the same for crossover. Next I'm going to go to terminal and I'm going to paste the following command. Then hit enter. Now when I launch a game, the HUD will show at the top of the screen. To turn this off, go back to terminal, paste the same command change the 1 to a 0, and then hit enter. Alright, I'm ready to play, so I'm going to launch Crossover, go to my EA app bottle, I want to use the Apple Game Porting Toolkit so I have D3D Metal checked on, and I'm going to launch the EA app. If for whatever reason you still want to use Crossover 22 with CX Patcher, go to the Code Weavers website, click on your account icon in the top right hand corner, and go to the downloads page. Click Archive to Downloads, find Crossover 22.1.1, and select the file to download. While that's downloading, I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to search CX Patcher. I'm going to go to Italo Mandara's GitHub. I'm going to go to Releases, and I'm going to download the newest version of CX Patcher. A big thank you to Iman, GSENX, and everyone else responsible for bringing us CX Patcher. Make sure to give their GitHubs a follow. CX Patcher for Crossover 23 is currently in development, so stay tuned for more news on that. Once the downloads are complete, I'm going to go to Finder, go to my Downloads folder, and I'm going to unzip both CX Patcher and Crossover 22.1.
Next, I'm going to drag crossover into my applications folder. I'm going to go to my applications folder and double click crossover 22 to launch it. Notice how crossover 22 is accessing the same bottles and paths that I have in crossover 23. Let's check out how we can change that with CX Patcher. Before opening CX Patcher, I'm going to quick crossover 22. Next, I'm going to double click CX Patcher to open it. If you get a cannot be open message, right click CX Patcher and click open. To get into the app, I need to type in the disclaimer. Next, I'm going to click Agree and Proceed. So here's CX Patcher. The way it works is that we choose our settings down here at the bottom and then drag the app into CX Patcher to apply our settings. To allow Crossover 22 to have its own files and paths, toggle on Use Separate Bottles Path. If you want to integrate the Apple Game Porting Toolkit, toggle D3D Metal on. And if you want to allow a repatch or upgrade to an already patched version of Crossover, toggle on Allow Repatch. Now that we have our settings ready, I'm going to go to Finder, Applications, and I'm going to drag Crossover 22 into CX Patcher. Now I can quit CX Patcher and launch Crossover 22. All right, now I'm ready to install my game launcher. So let's do Steam. I'm going to select Steam from the install page. Make sure Crossover is installing Steam into a new Windows 10 64-bit bottle and then hit install. Before I run a game, I'm going to go to my Steam bottle and toggle DXVK on and then off again to make sure the patch properly installed. In Crossover 22, when DXVK is toggled off, Crossover 22 will use the Apple Game Porting Toolkit to run a game. When DXVK is toggled on, Crossover will run the game with DXVK. Let's try running a game with the Apple Game Porting Toolkit. Once logged into my Steam, I'm going to go to my library and choose a game that I want to download. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to help support the channel.